OK. Initially, we have to install the Unity engine from the Unity store. And uh, after install the Unity uh, editor, we have to create an empty project. It's called We Are in Robotic. And also, we have to come to the file build settings and change the platform of the uh, our project to Android. You need to know that uh, if you want to use the Android platform, you have to uh, uh, install the Unity engine and the Android module and build support for your engine. After you install the uh, project and uh, switch platform to Android, you have to go to the Asset Store a website it is the unity asset store and uh, searching for oculus integration it is the free sdk uh, from the oculus uh, company for implementation of uh, vr projects games and simulators with this sdk we can uh, create any application or game or simulator for oculus headsets for example, Oculus Go, Oculus Quest 1, and Oculus Quest 2. Even if you want to create any application or uh, project for Oculus Rift, you can uh, use this platform as well. Okay, uh, initially you need to know that you have to log in with your account, Unity account, into uh, inside of Unity Asset Store. Uh, you can do it freely and uh, no need to do any something else uh, and also in here you have to log into your uh, account as well after that you need to click on open in unity as you can see it's try to open the unity editor it's try to send uh, this ID of Oculus integration to package manager packages my assets we wait for loading the projects and packages from uh, asset store to our project as you can see in the list we can find the uh, oculus integration in here uh, we need to do first download the uh, Oculus integration SDK and after that import it to our project okay now our SDK has been downloaded now we can click on import button all right it is the preparation process for importing to the our project. Okay, as you can see, this all the contents of the Oculus integration SDK. correct now import it to our project okay after the finishing the loading of importing process we will see this uh, message from open XR backend it's tried to say open XR is now fully supported by Oculus however some of the fun functionalities are not supported in the baseline open XR spec which would be provided in our future releases it's better to use open XR because we can uh, select them for uh, other options of the VR OVR plugin has been updated to 1.67.0. It's asked us to restart our editor. 
so we will do it and uh, upgrade to newest version of Oculus all right it has been done it's time to uh, change some uh, settings of our project from the build settings we need to go to the player settings in here initially we have to change the company name from the default name to our company's name and product name must be in here and also the version must be 0 0.1 or any version number you want the second part is in the other settings in the color space it must be linear as a default it is gamma but you need to change it to linear the third part is you have to remove the Vulkan gra graphics API from our list you click on it and press minus okay now in the other parts of our settings we have to check uh, the minimum api level it must be uh, more than android 7 or api level 24. after that we can check it out the scripting backend as a default it is mono but i propose to change them uh, to il2cpp for better compiling all the calculations and processes in the VR. And also the last part is API compatibility level must be .NET 4.X. After you're doing that, uh, it's better to keep the ARMv7 as a target architectures for the CPUs. Okay, we are done in this part. The last part is we have to go to the Oculus plugin management. Uh, once you're doing that, you will see install Oculus management. You have to install it on uh, and uh, on your Unity project. After that, in the Android platform, you will see Oculus AR Core or Unity Mac HMD. I uh, I say you have to uh, check on the Oculus. Uh, section in here after you're doing that your project is ready to use the Oculus SDK VR for implementation any VR application and game and simulator for your Oculus headset okay we are done let's go to the next step 